Is it sad that I'm honestly contemplating stopping monthly Q&As and just replacing them with monthly pet peeve videos? Or... <laughs> It's okay, you can dislike this video, you don't have to watch the whole thing. <laughs> so basically, like you guys know, I keep like a notes app in my phone. Everyone keeps a notes app in your phone, Apple doesn't let you delete it, Tana. Um, I keep notes in my phone of like video ideas and I always have like a running tab open note of pet peeves that I have just in case. Like I'm like, hey, what should I film today? Here are some pet peeves and that's where I am right now because I just every time something annoys me I write it down and here I am but they fill up the pet peeves fill up like the list fills up faster than it should you know what I mean like I just hate everything so now I'm here with another pet peeves video and I honestly for last night debated making this like a series but then I was like I don't want people to think I'm a negative piece of shit because I'm really not like these are these are common everyday pet peeves first world problems you know what I mean but Hi. Hi guys, it's Jana Mojo and today I'm here with some more pet peeves. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so the first pet peeve happened to me like two weeks ago and this happens to me a lot, okay, because I'm just a fucking ghetto ass bitch, okay? So you know when you go to a restaurant, like a fast food restaurant, and you're like, hey, can I have a water cup? Because I don't really drink soda, so I always ask for a cup for water because like I don't like to just like drink hella soda, so I try to drink more water. And I hate when you go over to the soda machine to get water and like, you know how the water, there won't be like a water one, like, like a water like box tab, water it'll be like fruit punch and then under the fruit punch there'll be like a little tiny tab that says water and then you press it to get your water but because it's under the fruit punch your water is like slightly tinted pink or like let's say it's like under the lemonade tab your water is like slightly tinted yellow because it's like under the item do you get what i'm saying that really fucking grosses me out like i didn't ask for fucking one percent fruit punch and 99 percent water i asked for water if i wanted fruit punch i would get fruit punch if i wanted fucking pink ass bitch ass water i would get a vitamin water like what the fuck i think that is so disgusting and i don't know why restaurants can't just have like a a water machine or like bottled water like you know what i mean because i think that's so gross like i like my why is your water tinted pink oh because this restaurant is cheap and hates their customers who drink water the next thing and this is really common in vegas and i don't know if it's common all over the world it's kind of common in la too but like anyways when people are trying so desperately to become a rapper or a songwriter or a singer and they're not good like you know what i mean like they're just bad like they put their shit on soundcloud and it's not good like they're, n they're not gonna put it on spotify or itunes because no one will buy it so they put it on soundcloud and then they make you like listen to it like let's say your friend is like trying to become a rapper and you like go over to hang out with them and they're like hey listen to my track and it just sounds like absolute trash and you have to sit there and be like it's great or like someone's like a singer and they're like i wrote this song let me sing it like butterflies and flowers like they just start like singing terrible trash music and you have to like sit there like it's great! Like, yeah, I'll fucking re-soundcloud it. Like, mm-mm. And ever since I started doing YouTube and like gained some Twitter followers, people that I don't even know all the time from like my hometown will like DM me or text me like, trying to become a rapper, yo. Yeah? Like, check this out. Feel free to retweet it. And I'm like, that sounds like whales mating. Like, that, that does not sound good. Like, that's not music. Like, trash. And it's just so awkward. Because it's just awkward. I hate it. The next pet peeve is quite simple, but it is when you are in a restaurant, can you tell that I'm just really fat? Like, all my pet peeves have to do with food and restaurants. Like, I need help. Like, help. But, like, when you sit on a table and the table, like, wobbles because, like, the bottom of the table is poorly made. Like, who made this table? Why is this in your establishment? Why can't I set something on it? Like, if you set a drink on it and then someone, like, puts a drink on the other side of the table, it, like, wobbles. Like, no. Absolutely not. No, like, blue cheese. I have no reasoning as to why this is a pet peeve of mine, but, like, I wrote down blue cheese. So, like, blue cheese. <laughs> How clothing items from Forever 21 will literally be the tiniest thing and have, like, nine tags sewn to the inside of it. And the tags just say, like, made in China. Like, flip. Next tag. Wash with cold water. Flip. Next tag. Forever 21 copyright. Flip. Next tag. A bunch of letters that I don't understand. Like, why are you attaching a small book to my shirt? Like, that's not okay. I didn't ask for that. I hate that. Especially with our underwear, like the underwear will be like the tiniest little thong and just have like 19 tags attached to it. And then when you try to rip the tags off, it rips a hole in the clothing. Like, thank you. Like, they're literally like, accept our fucking tiny novel tag or we're gonna rip your new garment. Like, thanks, fuck you. Fuck you, Forever 21. When someone is going to take a pill and instead of putting the pill on their tongue and then drinking water and swallowing it, they fill their mouth with water to where their mouth is like this and then like push the pill in through the, like, through the opening of their mouth. They're like, glug, glug, glug. 
disgusting. Why did you just create like a pool in your mouth to put the pill in? Like, why would you not just like calmly put the pill in your tongue, drink water to like wash it back and be a normal human being? Like every time I watch someone do that, it's so gross. Then you have water from your mouth all over your finger. You like spit water, like you, you're opening the mouth water. Like it's so disgusting. Every time I see someone do that, I literally ask them like, why do you do that? Like, like well, who taught you this? Like, where did you go to school? Like, did, did you go first grade? Did, did you do that? Like, I'm pretty sure someone should have taught you how to take a pill, especially when it's like tiny little pills like Zyrtec. I'm like, are you good? Like, are you okay? Like, do you need to go to a hospital? Like, weird. Like, that's just the weirdest thing ever. When you're just meeting someone and you're just getting to know them and you aren't on like a close level yet and they like do something for you and you're like, thank you. And they're like, mm-hmm, no. You say you're welcome. We're not close. We didn't just meet. I thanked you. I didn't say like THX. Thanks. I said thank you. Don't be like mm-hmm. Like are you trash? Mm-hmm. No. Like absolutely not. In my opinion, that is like the rudest thing ever. Like when you're getting to know someone and they like do something nice for you and you're like thank you and they're like mm-hmm. Fuck you. I, re I retract my thank you. Like say you're welcome. Like how hard is that? It's one thing if you're like best friends or something and they do something and you're like thanks and they're like mm-hmm like whatever. Casual. But you're just meeting someone like mm-hmm. You are trash. That is trash. Stop doing that to people you just meet. Say you're welcome. Like it's not that hard. Humidity. I fucking hate humidity so fucking much. Like I live in Nevada and that is the driest state in all of like the states. And I was born and raised in Nevada. So like living in Vegas, it is so dry year round and I'm so used to that. So when I go to like Florida or like Mexico or like somewhere like that, like, or like Texas, I'm like, Ugh. Like I hate that feeling so much of like, oh, I washed my hair three hours ago and it's still damp. The fuck you mean? Like I have so much fucking hair. So like it already takes a long time to dry in like a dry climate. And then when it's like humid, it just never fucking dries. Like your scalp just like stays wet. You always feel like sticky. Like you get out of the shower and your skin is like sticky. Or like when you fly from like Vegas to like Texas or something and you get off the plane and you're like, <gasps> like, it's so fucking gross. Like it's literally so fucking disgusting. I don't understand how anyone lives in humidity, but I know that like people who live in humidity are like, I don't understand how anyone lives where it's dry. Like that's the way the world works. But like humidity fucking disgusts me. I can never live somewhere where it's humid. Honestly, because I'm from Vegas, even places like LA, like it's like humid to me, like super humid. And it like freaks me out. I don't even, I don't even understand how, but like, yeah. So the sun is rapidly setting. This always, every time I film a pet peeves video, the sun is going down. I have no idea why. I think it's because I'm like the dark lord of hating everything and it's like sucking the sun out of the sky. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed hearing some more of my pet peeves. If you have any video requests, leave them below. Follow me on all my social media in the down bar. Check out my merch if you want to wear something I created. You probably don't. It's okay. Hi, mom. I'm glad you like my merch. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.